This video is on how to send a list of materials to your vendor and then manually entering those prices into your job summary. Um, for a lot of new users, you have not decided what you're going to do with your prices. If you're going to use a pricing service such as NetPricer, Epic, or Tracer that will reach out to your vendor for you. Um, for some of you, maybe your supply house sends you pricing once a month or once a week. So you have a couple of options uh, that we'll talk about in some other videos. In this example, for this little job, we need to get some prices and we want to get this material list over to our vendor so that they can give the prices back to us. In the upper right hand corner where the printer icon is, I'm going to drop down and the report that I would choose is material cost request. Once the report comes on my screen, I need to get this to my supplier. You can send this report as an Excel file or PDF. In this case, I'm going to send it over as a PDF, export to PDF. That report then comes up to me. Notice this report does not show your supplier the prices that are currently in your database. It only shows the description size, the quantity, and a place for them to put the new price in. So once we email this over to them, let's say that um, our supplier CED has now sent this sheet back to us with our prices. This is a manual process. So again, I'm just typing in uh, prices here. I'm just typing in a new value for these. Let's say that this is now 64 cent a foot. Um, I have this uh, item here is now uh, 96 cent. I'm just typing in prices for some of my values for some of my items here and I can continue. As I'm typing in my prices, they show up in red. That means that I made the price change. Now, these prices are only good as long as I am in this job. If I fire up a new job and do some takeoff and take off these same items, they will go back to the original price that they were in. This is a completely manual process, you typing in those values. In some of our other videos, we discuss how to bring in spreadsheets from our vendors. We discuss how to use pricing services. But again, in this video, it's just how to type in a manual value. Now, if I type these values in and I want to save them into my master database, as I just stated, they're only in this job today. Well, if I do another job tomorrow, I want these prices to already come up. So the way that I save them to my master database for CED, I'm simply going to click my dollar sign, which says update vendor pricing. Once I click that, it says the summary prices has been applied to this particular vendor. Now, if I go over into CED and I want to make sure that these are the prices that's going to show in CD, I'm going to quickly just get a little snippet of those prices so that I can compare them. I'm going to go to maintenance and items and I am going to click on my EMT. I'm in the conduit category. I'm going to click on EMT. Make sure you understand half inch EMT resides in this database one time, but it can have 10 different prices. So if I'm looking at my half inch EMT and I'm looking at my vendor CED, you can see that 38 cent. That 38 cent is exactly what we typed in uh, when we set this up. And so I'm just gonna bring this back into view. The half inch EMT, we typed in 38 cent when we were in summary and there it is. For the uh, three quarter inch EMT, we typed in 64 cent and there it is. For the one inch EMT, we typed in 96 cent and there it is. And then for the inch and a quarter, we typed in a dollar and 20 cent and there it is. So just that simple, we were able to send these prices over to our master database so that the next time we use these items in a takeoff, it will use those prices. Again, in the summary, we typed in the prices and then we wanted to send them to the correct vendor. We just uh, clicked on the dollar sign. If I have gotten prices from other vendors in CED, maybe City Electric, and I'm going to say yes right here so it will maintain the values for City Electric. 
Again, if I want to type in prices for City Electric that they sent me, it is a manual process. Again, I'm just going to quickly put in some prices here so that we can see um, that we have new prices set up. All right. For this one, I'm going to change that to uh, 60 cent here. So I just made a couple of changes in red. If I want to take these values and send them to my master database for City Electric, Again, here's my dollar sign, update vendor pricing. I click that and it says this has updated. I'm gonna click okay. And again, it's 40 cent and 60 cent. I'm gonna go to my master database just to make sure that it actually changed them. Maintenance and items, I'm in City Electric now and there's the half inch for the 40 cent and the three quarter for the 60 cent. 